Hi, this is Shota, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, if you've been following me for a while, you must know for how long I wanted to do Samyama. Even when I met Sadhguru in Triple I, my question was around it. And finally, this February, I went through Samyama. I got a lot of requests from you guys, like share your Samyama experience. At one point, even I was feeling like this. My friends who did Samyama last December, I also asked them, "How's your Samyama experience?" One of them said. Yeah, it is about awareness, but I really couldn't follow the instruction properly. One of them said, "I don't want to talk about it. Sadguru is so cute." And another one said, "Oh my God, Sadguru four dete means like Sadguru blasts everything." And three of the reactions makes no sense, right? Exactly. So I just went for Samyama. For those who do not know what it is, it is the most advanced spiritual program offered by Sadguru. It's a complete silence program for seven days, like seven and a half, eight days. Even when I came out of Samyama, everyone was asking me, "How is the Samyama experience?" This is this one thing. Actually, it cannot be explained in words. Like I cannot say, "Wow, it was awesome," or "Oh no, it is not good." It is just not possible to explain in words. How do I start? Well, let me share with you my summer my preparation. So the preparation was like really a lot. For last two months, I started from December first. You have to do Shambhavi Shakti Chalna Kriya and one Hatha Yoga at least every day in Shunya. I was doing Surya Shakti, that is twelve cycle, and Yoga Asana every alternate days. And on Sunday, it's both and for food also there was so much restrictions like non veg forget about it and even within veg you are not supposed to eat any negative pranic food even dairy only ghee was allowed sometimes i had to eat outside like if i'm having dosa i used to order plain dosa so i used to pick the onions out and i tried my best but yeah honestly i couldn't uh, like ignore onion garlic 100% to be honest but i was very strict with milk and chocolate i did not have any milk product or chocolate in this last two months sadhana also i cannot say i did 100% there were days when i did not have much time so maybe instead of doing 12 cycle i did maybe 6 cycle i did things like that i cannot like fake to be like 100% serious I did not suffer from back pain or uh, leg pain during Samyama. I sat there pretty well. In fact, I felt like my body was floating, and uh, the only pain I had was neck pain. And during Samyama, I realized move actually works. The biggest life-changing thing for me was inner engineering. That's all. I didn't even need to go through Samyama. Actually, life made me curious, like how. what all the unreal things i have experienced after starting my spiritual journey i wanted to know what more what more and that led me to samyama actually the main thing i realized during samyama because it's a complete silence program and when i say silence it's not just you don't speak it's also you don't communicate at all like not even through sign language or you're not even allowed to look at someone and smile it's like you are the only one and there's sadguru and even with sadguru you don't talk you just follow the instructions for 8 days that's all all the other programs you you get to talk to the participants right to so share something okay how was it and how food was it did you sleep at night and all and a lot of experience get diluted i had few experiences with sadguru energetically before also in uh, bsp and shunya but like i said when we talk to each other you don't really realize what exactly happened but this is the samyama program that actually made me realize what is the role of a guru in your spiritual growth like even if you know what to do like how to sit how to breathe how to concentrate and everything you know all the steps what to do but what you cannot do it's like the guru in your life who is almost like holding your hand and making your journey easier for you and this is something i realized during samyama 
I don't know how many of you can understand my point or not. Probably people who were with me in some MMA can relate to what I'm talking right now. And it's also not like true for everyone. So that's what I realized during some MMA. Like people who realize this thing just are willing to give their life to their gurus. And people who do not go out and, and they say uh, bad things about Sadhguru, like, yeah, he is not genuine and all. It's not about Sadhguru, it's about you. Like, how much you were present there to go through all this. Because Sadhguru was there for each one of us. It's up to us if we were willing to give our 100%. And yeah, after this Samyama, when you get out of this hall and uh, you start speaking again, it's a strange feeling. I don't know how to explain Samyama. I seriously do not know. And uh, like I said, as a Samyama experience, I can only say, it's not my words, even Sadhguru says, if you're not 100% ready, don't come for Samyama. It's not for everyone. Only go for Samyama if you're like really ready. Going through something and just studying something, there's a huge, huge difference. And that is, I can understand what is the term called book spiritual. People who are too much into this text thing, they will never understand this thing happens with energies and things that is beyond scientific explanations that is something that is like spiritual that's it i don't need scientific explanations and yes because this uh, preparation was so strict i became so weak the strict diet because like pure vegetarian food my body can't take it so after some emma uh, two of my friends came to my house and we had this nice post Samyama dinner party. We cooked paneer and chapati and we had a really good time. I eat egg and seafood immediately. I didn't even had that craving like I want to eat fish and all. And uh, even now after Samyama, I don't know if you can tell I'm wearing lipstick but my lips are all cracked and I have really bad fever. I am under medication, I've seen a doctor. Thank God it's not COVID because I'll have to get well soon for Mahashivratri. Another thing I realized during Samyama, what spiritual growth actually is. Like my boyfriend Rishabh, he has done only inner engineering, okay. And after Samyama, when I uh, talked to him, he said, yeah, actually I didn't even miss you in these seven days. I said, yeah, this is the main thing. When we are together, we are totally involved. But when we are not, we are still okay. That's the best way to live. Another question I got, whether it's a practice to continue. Yes, Samyama is an initiation. There is a Samyama meditation that you need to continue. That was my Samyama experience, guys. Eight days with 2,000 people in Adiyogi Alam Hall, in silence, without any communication. And I'm just so grateful that I was born in a time when Sadhguru is present and I got to do Samyama in presence of Sadhguru. I don't know whatever I said made any sense to you or not. But yeah, that's all I had to share. Give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you like and please do subscribe if you haven't yet. You can also follow me on my Instagram. Link is in the description. That's it. Bye.